Did you know Republican presidents used to be in favor of environmental protections? The great question of the 70s is, shall we surrender to our surroundings? Or shall we make our peace with nature and begin to make reparations for the damage we have done to our air, to our land, and to our water? I want to call upon all of you to join me in enacting into law a new Clean Air Act this year. But first, we should remember how far we've come and recognize what works. The 1970 Clean Air Act got us moving in the right direction with national air quality standards that were strengthened by amendments in 1977. Since 1970, even though we have 55% more cars going 50% farther, in spite of more utility output and more industrial production, we've still made progress. Lead concentrations in the air we breathe are down 98%. Sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide cut by over a third. Particulate matter cut 21%. Even ozone uh, causing emissions have been cut by 17%. And still over the last decade, we have not come far enough.